think this lady's case is a wonderful example of reconstruction of a lumbosacral junction that has slipped and has a very severe loss of disc height. The reconstruction that we planned for her was two stages on the same day. The first stage was through an incision in the tummy to put a cage in with an internal fusion core between the slipped vertebrae of L5 and S1. The second stage was to use our robot in order to do instrumentation in a very precise and minimally invasive manner through a posterior set of skin incisions, all under neuromonitoring with cell saver autotransfusion available for us, and of course hemodynamic vital parameters being monitored. So stage one was just to take out the disc and put in a nice large cage with solid anchoring, give her a new disc space. Stage two was to use the robot shown here to percutaneously put the rods and screws in to fix her. All of this was done using neuromonitoring and intraoperative CT scanning at the very end to make sure that all the instrumentation was in the right location and in the right trajectory. And you can see here the final images laterally and via anterior posterior projections showing very sound reconstruction. Look at the left preoperative and compare it with the right. She has a lovely big disc space, open windows for the nerves and all solidly fixated. And she's done so well. Thank <music> you.